watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon. Hello lovely Aquarius and welcome to your 2018 Year Ahead reading and I hope 
you're looking forward to a fantastic 2018. I know 2017 may have been a little bit bumpy, lots of changes, lots of things um, not going quite according to plan, but lots of revelations for you, I'm being told. Lots of realizations, lots of clarity in lots of different areas. Some of it to do with the past, some of it to do with what you need to do in the future. And you're being encouraged to trust your dreams. Um, so your dreams in terms of the future, but also the dreams in your deeper psychology. So I feel you may have been having dreams that have taught you things, prophetic dreams or dreams that have showed you insights about your past where you've been going wrong, even dreams where you've been allowing yourself to express some anger and frustration about things that have happened in the past, dreams that have expressed, have shown you things that you're clearing out from your psyche in order to move ahead in a much more positive way in the future. So trust that journey. Don't think you're having some kind of a breakdown. You're not. You are becoming much more aware, much more clear mentally, intuitively, you know, psychically even for some of you. And it's going to help you to move ahead in just the right way at just the right time in this dawning time for you of waking up, Aquarius. I'm really feeling that very powerfully and my hands are getting quite hot. Some of you might need healing. Some of you might actually have discovered that you have some kind of healing gift. I don't know. I feel um, for some of you have been overworking the body. They're saying overworking the body. Um, so I um, hope you will feel the healing coming through without interfering with your free will the healing coming through this reading that is meant for you, okay? Stress, somebody's saying stress, need to relax, don't get so wired, get to bed, get some early nights, look after yourself please in 2018 because, you know, there's been a lot of change for you and there's more change to come, but this time, much more positive change, okay? I just want to reassure you, <laughs> and my hands are so hot, I would encourage you to get some healing if you feel drawn to do that. So, You've just had Saturn moving out of your 11th house, right? Saturn has been in your 11th house for the last two and a half years or so. And that means that you've been tested in terms of groups and community and where you feel you belong. It may have been groups in the workplace. It may have been, you know, Saturn 11th house, a lot of lessons about how to get on with people, how to make people, how to make things work in group situations, how to make yourself understood, how to feel valued and respected, you know, almost like, you know, uh, being thrown out of groups and finding yourself back in groups, other groups and things constantly changing, but to do with groups and group situations and where you fit into the community and the wide and even the wider world a lot of this has been up for question so saturn is now leaving the 11th house thank god sigh of relief and going into your 12th house so your lessons are going to be about self-reliance they're going to be about faith and i've got to reassure you i'm being asked to reassure you because saturn is much happier in capricorn so it's going to feel even though there are saturn always brings lessons and challenges and it's always got to be somewhere in our charts but it does like to be in its own sign which is capricorn so things should feel more harmonious for all of us but especially you aquarius i feel you know because groups and community are very important aren't they if you are a part of a group if you are in a community you can feel very alone sometimes if that community isn't working in harmony with you or if you feel not like an outcast but just like ah oh, it's something about that whole energy is getting tested again and again and again something about that environment you know that that aspect of life is constantly but you know somebody throwing a spanner in the works well these things happen just to help us to grow and it has given you a greater sense of how you can handle yourself in the community, what community suits you better, fits better. Uh, they're showing me like a cloak, putting on a cloak or a coat. You want the community that fits like a glove. Like, do you really belong in the communities that have been 
you know, disabusing you in that way. I, I know these are powerful words, but do you really belong there? Is it a time for you to explore a different type of community, to really find your tribe, to really find the types of people that you belong with? And therefore, does that mean a change of career or does it mean a change of um, social life or does it mean a change of where you live? You know, all of these things are there to be considered. No one's telling you what to do, but this is what you may have been considering and maturing over in the last few years years or so and now you're going to be looking at faith faith and karma and your spiritual underpinnings your belief you might have already been getting glimpses of that now what do I really believe do I believe what I say I believe do I believe what I think I believe do I really trust what do I have faith in what matters to me who am I you know really going deep and and you know seeing your place in all of it and seeing that things that have happened in the past that might not have been ideal might have been karmic lessons might have been deeper lessons that came from out of the essence of who you are and who you've been rather than just random things that happened you will begin to learn and see the patterns in everything and see therefore how you can grow and evolve into a new kind of being a different kind of of being of of spiritual um essence who can embrace the creation of new different experiences different kinds of environment different kinds of situations that nurture and nourish you and let yourself off the hook for the past even if you don't know what that we don't all know what all our past lives are I mean some of us have access to that information but you know not everyone does and even if you don't know what all those reasons and causes are you know, just say in yourself, in your heart, quietly to yourself, I'm letting go of the past, the past no longer has any power over me and from this day forward I will move ahead with the intention of being clear and focused on what I really want and the happiness I really want to create in my life. Okay, so that's that. Now, you've had Jupiter in your, um, where have you had Jupiter? Yeah, so Jupiter's been in your ninth house, your house of belief are oh, really interesting. So you've been expanding your beliefs, you've been expanding possibly your education as well, your philosophy, your ideas about life, about the world. You might have travelled a little bit or thought about travelling, um, but you've just generally been expanding how you view things and that expansion should lead you into looking at a different kind of career vision in um 2018 when Jupiter moves into your 10th house and wants to expand your career and legacy so hopefully if your learning about groups has been to do with career hopefully Jupiter is going to be moving you away from anything that's been uncomfortable or unpleasant in that sense and moving you into a greater vision of you know who you really are and what you really came here to do and um, that's what makes it exciting <laughs> in 2018 and different. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna pick some Archangel cards. So I'm going to do for you, um, what shall we do, past, present and future. Oh, that one wanted to jump out. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And it says, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So that's absolutely, you know, what we're saying at the beginning, that you need to let go of the past, let yourself be at peace within yourself, and only focus on the love. Only focus on the love. Focus on, even if you've had those awakenings and those awarenesses of things that have happened in the past that should make you angry, that should make you upset, that could keep you stuck, let them all go now. And just focus on the love that is in your life now, whether that's a love, a loved one or loved ones, or your ability to love yourself and to learn and grow. Focus on the positive now and, and move ahead. So, past, present, and future. So, in the past, 
you had really, really clear goals, really clear intentions, really clear ideas about what you wanted, who you wanted to be, where you were going in life, what it was all about, you know, really clear. And in some senses, possibly even a little bit rigid because they are being shaken up now. And, um, you know, everything that you've been through in the last few years has been bringing you to a point where you'll question things a little bit more, where you won't get stuck in rigidity. It's interesting that Aquarians are so um, maverick and innovative and creative and slightly eccentric, and yet they're a fixed sign. So when they get their teeth into something, they can stick with it and stick with it and stick with it, and, you know, until it just isn't working anymore so crystal clear intentions work really really well for you when you apply them to the right thing for some of you you'll be realizing that maybe that hasn't you know some things are waiting to die away now there's a hello from heaven now someone in the spirit world um, or possibly your guides and angels just coming around you and I can just see this blanket it's like this protective blanket of love and, and light just wrapping it around you so it's almost as if your energy field has felt a little bit um, under attack even and they just want you to insulate yourself to molly coddle yourself to to protect and nurture yourself a little bit for a while at the moment this isn't an ongoing thing you know this isn't telling you to become all insular and guarded and, and scared it's not about that it's about just giving yourself back some of the love that you need to to repair yourself to repair your energy and to prepare for a fantastic year ahead now you've got clear cognizance in the future position pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you they are answered prayers so you're already getting strong ideas strong intuitions about what to do with 2018 and how to navigate your way through it and if some of these are new initiatives new ideas and innovations then trust 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 yourself and apply your crystal clear intentions to those i'm just going to pick you one card as a sort of theme from the secret language of color cards and um and just see what your overall theme could be connect to spirit in nature i love that the rainbow for me is always a symbol of the end of trials the end of the struggles you know and just a reassurance from spirit that things are going to start looking a lot brighter now okay so I, i'm going to leave it with that even though the message on the card is different i tr prefer to use my insight and intuition and my what I'm feeling coming through from my guides and they really are drawing my attention to that rain rainbow so I want you to spring into 2018 full of hope Aquarius and make it work for you no one can tell you how things are going to be it's for you to decide and to make that change going forward now in terms of your perception of things and what you believe is possible okay learn to trust yourself again and whether you work in groups or work alone, learn to trust the process and trust that you are here for a reason, that you are being loved and guided constantly by spirit and that all is indeed well. Okay, so if you want to book a personal reading just looking at you and your direction uniquely from your energy, talking to your guides and your angels and mine, um, I'm leaving a link under the video. I've got my personal year ahead readings available now, so connect with me for those. And if not, have a fantastic year and um, hopefully we'll speak again soon. Take care. Bye.